Number 10. The Maya Underworld According to Maya legend, the entrance to the terrifying underworld, the very realm of the afterlife, is located deep inside the earth in Belize, specifically in the Chiquibul cave system, where archaeologists have uncovered some of the most disturbing sites of human sacrifice ever. In the old Maya language, the underworld was known as Hibalba, which translates roughly to the place of fright. It was where the most fearsome deities from Maya mythology lived, such as the Lord of Death. The underworld was said to have rivers of venomous scorpions, a house filled with killer jaguars, and plenty of other terrifying things. The recently dead were supposed to be confronted by tests of courage and strength upon their entrance to the underworld. But here's where things get archaeological. Evidence has shown a dramatic increase in the cave sacrifices given to the demonic gods of the underworld starting around the year 900 AD. The Maya had always been enthusiastic, let's say, about sacrificing people, but something happened around 900 that caused them to start bringing mass amounts of people down into the caves to be sacrificed. We also know that this was right around the time of the great civilization's collapse. They were undone by years of unprecedented droughts, which ultimately brought down their agricultural economy and caused political upheaval. So, as the Maya people were migrating from their great cities into the countryside, running away from famine and death, the great priests were busy toiling in the lair of the gods in Chiquibul, trying to sacrifice as many people as it took to appease the Lord of the Dead and bring stability back to their civilization. Number 9. Egypt's Mountain of the Dead Deep in the Egyptian desert, there is a place called the Siwa Oasis. Within this oasis is the Mountain of the Dead, one of the most ghoulish archaeological sites in the world. The mountain contains heaps of tombs pocked across its surface. The tombs cover just about every single inch of the mountain. You can't walk five feet without stepping on somebody's grave. Some burials date back all the way to the 26th dynasty, while more recent burials are from the Greek and Roman periods. Arguably, the most famous tomb on the Mountain of the Dead is that of Si Amun, which dates back to the 3rd century BC. We are not quite sure who he was since it looks like he held no official titles, but his tomb clearly shows that he was wealthy and important. He may have been a Greek landowner or merchant, but he certainly followed the Egyptian religion. It was first officially discovered in October of 1940, but was heavily damaged by the soldiers who were excavating the mountain. Plus, the tomb had already been robbed hundreds and hundreds of years earlier. The exact origin of the mountain is a little vague, as thousands of years of pillaging and neglect have left it in rough shape. Before modern times, the local villagers had even made their homes inside of the tombs. Most of them hardly even look like tombs anymore, as they are filled with garbage and there are animal bones inside them. While still a pretty disturbing experience to climb a literal mountain of the dead, this site has not been kept very well preserved. Number 8. Lamanai Ruins the Lamanai Maya ruins in Belize date back to around the year 1500 BC. Amazingly, the site was occupied until at least 1680 AD. That's over 3,000 years, with the local people growing maize in the old bones of the city long after it was deserted. The ruins were discovered in modern times in 1978 by archaeologists who were able to identify it as the ancient city of the submerged crocodile. The archaeologists found figurines, pottery decorations, and a large number of crocodile images. Basically, the main theme here was crocodiles. The core of the site today is about 12 square miles and includes a whole heap of structures, including 12 major buildings, a ball court, and three key temples, the Mask Temple, the Jaguar Temple, and the High Temple. But here's why it's such a dark archaeological place. It was one of the worst cities in the Maya world for human sacrifice. Even the ball court was a place of great death. The objective of the game here was to hit a small ball through a stone hoop, kind of like sideways basketball. The winners were given a marvelous feast, but the losers were put to death. Out of all of the temples here, the Mask Temple is definitely the strangest. It dates back to about 550 AD and was probably the seat of the Maya kings that ruled the city. Archaeologists even found a mysterious limestone mask with a crocodile headdress though they have no idea what its purpose was, most likely to scare the daylights out of everyone. Number 7. The Paris Catacombs The Paris Catacombs are one of the most terrifying and darkest places anywhere in Europe. 
The catacombs may not be the most famous landmark in Paris, but they are certainly the spookiest. This is a system of underground tombs filled with hundreds of thousands of human bones. The tunnels go on for over 200 miles, originally part of a quarry dug by miners. The catacombs weren't meant to be used for holding human remains. It just kind of turned out that way. It all happened in the 18th century when Paris realized that their cemeteries were way too overcrowded. People in the city were complaining about the odor of death wafting out of the cemeteries and filling the city streets. People also started to get sick because they were in such close contact with the dead. To fix this problem, the Parisians started moving bodies out of the cemeteries and hiding them underground in the catacombs. This started in 1785, with the corpses being moved under the cover of night so that the locals didn't get upset about the grisly scene. Bodies continued to be transferred into the catacombs all the way until the French Revolution. In 1860, the name changed from the Paris Municipal Ossuary to the catacombs. Today, you can go down there yourself and see the bones of the six million people entombed underneath the streets of the City of Love. Have you already been here? Or do you want to go? Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. The Cave of the Altamura Man There is a cave in southern Italy that is absolutely grotesque. Caves are hideous and dark enough as it is, without human bones growing out of the walls. I'm talking about the cave where the Altamura Man was found, one of the best preserved Neanderthal skeletons ever discovered by scientists. This guy's fossilized bones remained hidden for about 130,000 years at the bottom of a sinkhole near the southern Italian town of Altamura. He was first discovered by cavers in 1993, though scientists have had a much more difficult time reaching this spooky skeleton because of his precarious position. His bones are stuck deep through the narrow crevices at the very bottom of the sinkhole. Studying his remains had been extremely challenging, not to mention nobody really wants to go down there because it's dark and terrifying. According to Jacopo Mojicecchi, a professor from the Department of Biology at the University of Florence, the Neanderthal probably fell down a shaft by accident and then died either upon impact or shortly after. Then his bones just kind of melded into the cave wall. They are covered today in calcite mineral deposits that make it look as though he has tiny teeth growing out of his bones. They are so firmly stuck at the bottom of the sinkhole that archaeologists doubt they'll ever be able to extract the bones without damaging them. Would you dare climb down into this spooky cave to see the preserved bones of a Neanderthal? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We have lots more videos like these coming up. Number 5. Alexandria's Black Sarcophagus In the Egyptian city of Alexandria, archaeologists made an extremely grim discovery. They uncovered the largest stone coffin ever found in Alexandria, a huge black sarcophagus estimated to weigh over 30 tons. It was one of the most haunting artifacts ever unearthed in the city, and some warned scientists it was better off being left in the ground where it was found. Some claimed it was cursed, some say that opening the great black sarcophagus would end the world, and some even believed the sarcophagus held the body of an extremely powerful mummy, one that might just come back to life or wreak havoc around everyone around it. This strange discovery only got weirder when archaeologists opened the coffin to discover a trio of human bodies floating inside a red soup. It looked like a witch's cauldron filled with raw red sewage and human bones. Yet despite how gross the liquid was, literally human soup, an online petition sprang up where people asked the Egyptian authorities if they could drink a vial of the red liquid to gain special powers. Would you drink the liquid from an ancient Egyptian mummy coffin? Let me know in the comments! Nobody ever did drink the liquid, officially, so we don't know if it contained any magical powers. But after the hype died down, scientists were able to announce the bodies belonged to a woman and two men, probably from around the year 332 BC. But scientists still can't figure out why all three of them were buried inside of a great black sarcophagus. Very unique back in those days. Number 4. The Haunted Bangar Fort In India, the Banghar Fort is considered one of the most haunted places in the entire country. It's a disturbing archaeological site that may just have a few skeletons in its many closets. Visitors report being besieged by a sense of anxiety and suffering from sudden paranoia upon entering the ruins. The fortress dates back to the 17th century, with its creation being tied closely to a curse. 
When the king decided to build the fort, there was a bit of an issue because the location chosen happened to be the favorite spot of a local hermit. The king went to the hermit and said that he was going to build the fort, and the hermit said it would be perfectly fine so long as no shadow from the fortress fell upon him. The king agreed to the terms, but after construction, a shadow from the building fell right over the hermit's little house. Since the deal was broken, the hermit cursed the Bangar fort, which ultimately led to the nearby village being destroyed, and the massive fort left abandoned. While this may sound like a silly story from legend, the locals take it very seriously. To this day, it is forbidden to enter the fortress at night because of the supposed paranormal activity that goes on. Even the Archaeological Survey of India has posted signs all along the fort that warn visitors to stay off the premises between sunset and sunrise. They say those who try to spend a night within the confines of the ruins, well, they never come out again. Number 3. San Franciscan Monastery in Lima In the heart of Lima, the capital of Peru, there is the St. Francis Monastery. It's a church, a monastery, a library, and also a spooky graveyard. The church and monastery were both blessed in 1673. After that, the structure experienced quite a bit of trouble. There was a major earthquake in 1687 and another one in 1746. When another earthquake struck in 1970, the church suffered extensive damage, but it was rebuilt every time and still stands today. One of the most impressive parts of the monastery is its library, which holds about 25,000 antique texts. Many of these texts actually predate the Spanish conquest. But you probably want to get to the dark part of the site. It's located underneath the main floor of the monastery, down in the catacombs where there are 25,000 bodies hiding inside the crypts. The crypts were discovered in 1943, over 150 years after they were used for burying the dead. The catacombs existed in secret beneath the monastery, used hundreds of years ago as discreet passageways between the cathedral and the tribunal of the Holy Inquisition. In other words, the main priests at the monastery used the catacombs to sneak around, doing whatever shifty things they did during the horrible evil of the Spanish Inquisition. Number 2. The Village of Herxheim Herxheim is a terrifying mystery that has taken the scientific community by storm. This place is located in southwest Germany, with archaeologists finding evidence of human habitation here going back to 5300 BC. It was initially described as an idyllic settlement from the Stone Age. The houses were quaint, they had rudimentary plots of farming land, and they seemed to be safe from invaders and dangerous natural predators. But the archaeologists found evidence that the people of the village vanished abruptly in 4950 BC. The town was literally abandoned overnight. And while researchers haven't been able to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt what happened, they believe a violent spout of cannibalism may have had something to do with it. In 2009, archaeologists uncovered a mass grave here, complete with at least 500, though perhaps as many as 1,000, human remains. The bones belong to men, women, children, infants, everybody. But to make the discovery extra dark, the bones showed evidence of tool markings. By inspecting these markings, archaeologists determined that the flesh had been carefully scraped off the bones, probably to be eaten. Plus, many of the skulls had been cracked open like eggs to more easily extract the yummy brains inside. Scientists have absolutely no idea why the village fell apart with the citizens evidently eating one another. It could have been some kind of plot for human sacrifices gone wrong. Nobody really knows. All the experts can say for sure is that the entire village was eaten in a very short time. Number 1. The Lothian Cemetery The Christian burial ground of the Lothian Cemetery was established back in 1808 and used until the 1960s. European soldiers were buried here during the Battle of Independence in 1857 and so were British women and children living in India who died during the Great Cholera Epidemic. The cemetery is full of the bodies of the British, which is bizarre because it's located at Kashmir Gate in India. The cemetery is left over from the time of the British occupation, and to this very day, it holds some very haunting secrets. One of the darkest secrets of the Lothian Cemetery is that the dead sometimes wander around at night. Visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing a headless ghost meandering around the graveyard. Not only is this a place of great importance to the historical tale of India and Britain, 
it's also full of headless ghosts. Thanks for watching! Which of these terrifying places would you love to explore? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you later! Bye!